I'm Steve Ecker. I am a professor in biochemistry and molecular biology, and my laboratory is focused on uh, cancer biology, understanding uh, the biology of underlying cancer, as well as uh, trying to prevent cancer by preventing uh, tobacco use. Uh, we got into this outreach program, basically trying to find opportunities for students, and through an organization called Ticks for Kids in Rochester. Um, we were able to get a meeting and the folks from Mayo, the wonderful folks from Mayo Clinic, were trying to find ways to outreach to schools and, uh, and students and kids. And so we said, let's try this as a partnership. And it was an amazing collaboration, a true model of what could happen across uh, cities, states, uh, as a nation. In this case, what the teachers have done is come in, there's been two groups of teachers. First, our, our four-week externs, of which we had seven. And those externs came out first for three weeks to update their science and do some science, and then to actually then help us administer the one week experience with the other teachers and with an eighth grade group. Uh, it's been an incredible experience. Um, teachers have had a chance really to meet with scientists, you know, kind of world renowned scientists actually. Oh, yeah, I, I love it. I, when I grow up, I'd like to be a teacher, uh, a professor. Okay. So, um, because I really like teaching people, it's, it's something that I, I find enjoyable. So teaching the teachers was, was very fun to me. And it's exciting that we're able to kind of pick their brains and bring this information to our students. And I, I did have one chance to go out to the school and that was really exciting to see the different faces. I mean, not everyone is super excited, but there was a lot of people in the room that were really excited to see what they were doing. I've been using a different type of fish and they were very difficult to deal with and I couldn't do the kind of genetics studies that I wanted to do so I did what you do when you want to find something. I googled it and found out that the University of Oregon where my son had just started to attend college was like the, ze the zebra fish place to do research. Um, I visited with him, I met Judith Eisen and the zebra fish group there and did a sabbatical with Judith. 2004. Zebrafish are a vertebrate, and so they have a lot of uh, the tissue biology, a lot of the organ biology, and a lot of the genes and the sequences and the pathways of how they interact with each other. Very similar to not just other model organs, but humans as well. The, the most rewarding thing is to see the students begin to take ownership of the experiments, do the literature searches, design an experiment, do the experiment, have the experiment not exactly do what they anticipated it would do, but to see them work through all of that. As a parent at Lincoln, uh, you can expect highly improved science, science for your, your, your child. There's new standards, new science standards that have come out that are actually really quite challenging. And to find novel ways of trying to bring these standards alive to students in the classroom. So we've built curriculum together, hand in hand, finding different activities that we can that we can bring in, finding different conversations that we can lead and have with, with kids. Ways in which we can have scientists live and in person in classrooms or via Skype and, and video conferencing be a part of their everyday science experience. The students have done um, genetic studies, they've done studies where they've uh, treated them with certain mutagens to see what sort of phenotype um, evolves. They design behavior experiments, um, a lot of different things. And so that's the fun thing is to see the kids just branch out and do whatever they want to do. But the kids will have first-hand learning and uh, also be able to take that to the next level as we want them to start asking more questions and start thinking about what if we did this and start thinking about if they do more experiments on their own. They're more we've brought in people from Winona State, uh, we're bringing in uh, pre-service educators to be mentored by the Lincoln teachers and to become better teachers, to be mentored by scientists, to become better scientists, such that this message is easily dispersible as these, as, as these teachers go out and find their positions. We feel it's really important uh, for pre-service teachers, so teachers who aren't yet out in the field yet, um, to have situated learning opportunities in a science-based setting so that they can experience what it is to be and become a scientist and then um, when they get out into their own classroom, whether it be through student teaching or their own first job, they're fully prepared to hit the ground running. The biggest high, and I think a lot of teachers can agree with that, when the students presented 
the microscope yesterday at the school board members where I saw the students take ownership in what they've learned this week, how to use the fluorescent microscope, and to see school board members in tears because they're so proud of what can happen in education and what the future has to bring. For the parents, ask and be involved. Um, this is the only way we're going to make a difference is to have the parents back in the classroom. Another piece of what they did was to visit with us and help us learn to interact and train and teach better than we have before. So that's a, a big piece of it. Um, they produced new protocols for how we use our equipment that were re more easily accessible, let's say, to any group of people that may come in and, and use that equipment. One of the things that is magical about a science laboratory is it's like a kitchen. It's like a really good kitchen, right? A gourmet kitchen, okay? You're not going to be in a gourmet kitchen in your, la in your classroom. But you know what? That's okay. We're going to, there will be the support, either intellectually or what's exciting is you've got a whole cadre of teachers. So you've got, you've got on site immediately. How did that work? Remind me how it did. It is. It is an absolute honor to be a part of it. I think any time we can bring um, the community and industry and business partners together with schools and teachers and students um, so that education becomes a true community effort, uh, it's, it's a benefit to all the players. And I think this is just an excellent example of the energy and synergy that develops when people gather around a common cause. Um, and it, it serves to benefit everybody. The opportunities for students are endless with all the amazing uh, scientists that are out there and if they have the willingness to share that expertise, what we can do and how far we can take students is amazing. I would absolutely welcome IBM to follow our template and go over to Riverside or Hawthorne or another school and address the engineering standards. I would, I would welcome any business engaged in chemistry to, to bring the chemistry standards to life and work with the teachers in this same way where we partner and we use what's best of both of our worlds. Um, we will be using the, the, uh, the product of our environment, publications, to do this. So we will be publishing both in science journals and education journals about our experience such that there is a template out there and accessible for people to use to follow up on our work. And that's where we're just starting to realize that potential here with Mayo Clinic. And uh, our students have really responded and they keep wanting more and more. And I, I think this program has been a wonderful model and hopefully a model that can be replicated across many, many areas and many businesses and, and many areas of science. It's a lot of work and it's a lot of fun. And Lincoln has a great connection with Chris and with Steve Ecker. The amount of time and support, the, the degree of support they're giving you is phenomenal. So I think you ought to take advantage of it and use it while it's here. And so this outreach with Mayo Clinic has been the best experience that I've ever had. Um, we found the people on the other end outreaching to us as we were reaching to them. And it's been phenomenal. Uh, the collaboration, the partnership, and all, all the scientific learning, but we're, we're teaching each other. We're, they're teaching us the science, we're trying to teach them some of the terminology to, to reach the students and also uh, educators to, that they can bring down their high level of knowledge to uh, science that makes sense for all of us. This is a growing and living thing. I invite parents to become part of it. I invite all of the teachers at Lincoln and throughout Rochester to be part of it and community members to be part of this. Because when, when the money goes away, but the standards are lifted, how do we fix it? We need to work together to provide novel ideas and concepts for teaching, and the teaching of science, or the teaching of business, or the teaching of chemistry or mathematics. And partnership does that. It's a low-cost alternative for an extremely powerful outcome.